Hey guys, I just wanted to show you really quickly how to use the Photoshop actions that are included in the Perfectly 90s font file. Um, these Photoshop actions are really easy to use. They're specifically for digital, so keep that in mind. And um, what they're going to do is just kind of at the touch of a button, create this vintage magazine print look. So all you're going to do is open up the actions in your download folder. So here's the download actions, and it's this .atn file. And all you need to do is click and drag this into Photoshop, and it's gonna load right here in your actions panel. From there, to use it, just click this down arrow to open up the folder, and you'll see that there are two different ones in here. There's a rough one, and there's a light one. The rough one uses crystallize as part of the process to create some um, more texture and pixelation. So this is one that's gonna be better for larger text, for display. Um, it's gonna make smaller text a little bit difficult to read, so keep that in mind. And then the light version is um, done without that crystallize function. So it's a little bit more easy to read while still giving you some good texture. So to use them, all you're gonna do is click on your top layer, select the action you want. So we'll start with rough and then press play. And that's it. And you'll see we get this really cool kind of vintage print look. You're gonna do the same thing if you wanna use the other one. Um, let's hide this layer so that it doesn't apply to that. Select our light one, press play. And you'll see it's not as drastic, but you do still get some good texture out of it. And the text is going to be a bit easier to read. Um, if it works out for the project I'm doing, I like to combine the two. So I have my rough one underneath here and my light one on top. And all I'll do is just take my light layer and set it to like 45 or 50% opacity. And it's going to give you this really good blend that's still really legible. So instead of it being super rough like this, it gives it a little bit more definition, but it's not like perfectly clean. And that is it. That's all it takes to use these. Um, combine them as you like. Um, you can also, if you're working with like a larger file and you're not seeing the effect as much, you can open these actions up in this window and see exactly what each of these is set to, and then go in and recreate it yourself. So if you're working with a large print file and you, you know, these are just a little bit too low impact for you, um, you can just repeat these steps knowing, okay, the digital one was set to 1.2 pixel, pixels on the blur, I'm gonna up that to three or four, and then I'm gonna up the crystallized cell size up to five or six. Like you're able, you'll be able to kind of reference what's happening in the action, and then apply it to a bigger file. Um, I don't think there's a way to actually go in and edit these um, without just recreating them. So if you wanted to do that, you could always record a new action. And to do that, all you do is click this button here on the side, new action, name your new action. It could be perfectly large print. Click record and then you can just repeat those steps. So you'll um, go through everything that you see here and just adjust these values to be the appropriate size for your document. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, they're super easy to use and I can't wait to see what you guys create with this. This is one of my favorite fonts I've done to date. So I'm very excited. Can't wait.